Good afternoon, Jules fans. Welcome back to another Match Day Live from Jules in the Blood TV. Saturday afternoon, it's back quarter past two. We are in the Priestfield Stadium for Gillingham versus Accrington Stanley. Very quiet, Priestfield Stanley. It is very sedate at the moment, very chilled out. Both suffering the after effects of man flu, so we're trying to keep this sweet so we don't pop all over your screens. Team news is in Boz, it's nice and easy for the Jules. Yeah. It's exactly the same 11 as it was at Bolton last week. That decent but ultimately frustrating point. Tune it up, 86 gone, you should see it out, shouldn't you? I think you're saying we all see it coming. Well, yeah, we do see it coming as well, but you should see it out at this level. You shouldn't be chucking away two goal leads, and it was a good performance for, for well, pretty much the whole game. One thing that was about that game, obviously, comments after the game, all right, we didn't defend well, did we? We didn't say that. He turned around and kind of pinned it on. Thought, yeah, he's got to take a lot of holes. Yeah, it did seem a bit harsh considering the amount of goals he scored for us, and like I said, we should see out game. So we've got ourselves two 0 in front. So then we should manage the game properly. <laughs> I think Evans was culpable. About the yeah. yeah, didn't make enough substitutions, but it's all reactive. But yeah, so a big boost today is Mustafa Carrion came through Tuesday night's cameo. He's on the bench, but no Charlie Kelman and no Oliver Lee at all. So Lintot and Bailey Acres come on the bench today. What are we thinking? Are we seeing the Atkinson team? Are we got the usual suspects: Michael Nottingham, Colby Bishop. Uh, one we just oh, so they'll be strong, experienced. They know what they're doing. Um, you looked at their bench, and you didn't recognise too many on there, apart from James Trafford, the keeper, who was the number one at the start of the season. So he's been dropped, rested, rotated. Big question. Score prediction. Oh, oh, well, it's going to be 1-0 or 2-1, isn't it? So, I'm going to say 1-0. I'm going to say 2-1 at Jules. I think we're going to nick it, go free unbeaten, and pick up home win, uh, back to back home wins. We're going to go for the Dane Oliver. John Kindy. There we go. We should bring you more footage as and when we can get it. Game's been played in our half. It's great defending yeah. Mackenzie. Yeah. John Akindy's done well. Yeah, he's got it clear. Doing his defensive duty. Clinton been on top last couple of minutes, but still goal is. Doing the thrust here for Jules. Ron well, Jackson's first chance really yeah. the launch one, isn't it? Yeah. He definitely yeah, go short. He had the one early, didn't he? Oh yeah, here he goes. It's a long one. Max Amos won the flick. Was that gone? Yeah. Probably Mackenzie's had a swing and an air shot. He's going to have to get back in and win it back now. Atkinson trying to break, just stay with us, is it? Right, should be Ryan Jackson's though. Oh, it's just oh, about done away. enough. Stay here a bit more now. Got himself out of trouble and in trouble again. Yeah, Conville's turning. Then he needs to move, he's just turning. And work from there, left to there, right. Come yeah. back. So your blue shirt on it, so the first time. Jules have got their shape back now. Ball into the bar. Right, Danny Lloyd's getting another chance, but set piece in. Another foul on John McKinley. Just whip this in. Don't mess about with it. Just waiting for the referee. I mean, what would they have to put everyone back? I've just noticed that, considering we've got his Ryan Jackson on the halfway line. Delivery's good, you've got plenty of targets. Thanks, Henry. Right, Here we go, the whistle's just gone. Tim! Tim! 
Exciting minute from the keeper from Max Amos. Splits out another call that reduced 25 play. It's going to be the skipper out swinging. But they don't have that. Too much on it and then it over. Jill's on top again now at the moment, just under half hour gone. Throw in here, Robbie McKenzie. Was that gone? It's full of Reese Bennett. It's done well. Oh, Jack Sucker off balance, scuffed it wide, still nil nil. Jackson, Amos sort of won the flick, it's come out of Dempsey. Didn't work an opportunity to cross. It's good defending. Dempsey's kept it in. Is he going to get there? It's done well. Was that gone? Kate was falling on it. Oh, Charles, Dempsey done really well. Still here, really. Yeah, it looked like his touch was too heavy. Eight minutes to play. John Akindi, Jill should leave. John Akindi, brilliant ball from Jackson. It's a great save from the keeper. But Dane Oliver's managed to scuff it wide from what? Four yards, I think. Yeah, He should leave. John Akindi has done everything but score. That's a brilliant header. It's a great save. Oliver should smash the rebound in, though. That's pretty much it for the first half, though. Half time at the Breezeville Stadium, joined now by Stocky. Uh, score currently Gillingham nil, Accrington Stanley nil. It's been a decent watch, though. Yeah, I think we should be leading. Still long longstairs, especially that chance right at the end. I think it was made a brilliant save from Big John. I'm not sure how the Danes missed the rebound. It looks oh, as if he's just scuffed it wide. It looks as if it should have been attacking. But um, yeah, I'd have to see that one again, but it looks as if he's scuffed it. Accrington haven't really offered too much. Um, he's had a few half chances on say the one at the end of the first half is probably the closest to come. But uh, yeah, I think mean, all in all so far we've played all right. Yeah, they've not really got in behind us, have they? The games we've played in front of our back four generally, which has been nice. They've got into decent positions out wide, but we've defended it pretty well. But yeah, we've definitely had the three better chances. We've had the Danny Lloyd drive, the keeper safe. Yeah. Um, the Max Amar header from the Danny Lloyd free kick. And then the John Akindi header, and like you say, and then for Dane Oliver, who you put your, man, your house on to, to tap it in. But it's, it's certainly a performance that's been decent, and I think it's our game to go and win now. If we can grab it by the scruff in the next second period. Yeah, I think we need to just nick that goal, just to hopefully set up a few nerves as well. I mean, it's not like much to win today, by all means, but we just need to kind of break the run we're on at the moment, don't we? Just oh yeah, if we can get something, it's free. If we can get the win, it'd be several points from nine, wouldn't it? And all of a sudden, if someone had offered you that before Doncaster, you'd have snapped your arm off. Yeah. And then we get a little break, don't we, for FA Cup next weekend, so go into that break on a high time thing before we go Sheffield Wednesday. But in terms of Jill's player, John Kinney's been a standout. He's been absolutely yeah, superb. Yeah. Again. I think he's been good. Decent, decent time, especially from that cross field ball, the way that he brought that down. Um, was that the one that led to the foul where Amar nearly scored from the free kick? I think it was, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. but well, he's been causing them issues. Atkinson and Stanley are a big old side as well. But Oliver and uh, Kinda are doing doing well against their back four at the moment. They must have to talk this right back in the league that I've ever seen now. Sykes, on the right side of the centre-half. Well, that McCombie was an absolute giant as well. Oh, Pell, yeah, as well. Yeah, they're absolutely huge. I think Michael Nottingham, the other centre-back, looks like an absolute dwarf compared to... Sykes, I'm sorry, forgot his name. But yeah, all in all, decent performance from Jules, and if we can carry on at the same level, we could pinch this. Big chance here by three King. Carl Dempsey over it. He was fouled, wasn't he? It was what? Three yards outside the box. I think just whip it into that far post and just hope someone gets a touch. Let's see what he's doing here. He might do someone with the eyes. As long as it goes in. Referee's whistle goes now. John McKinley's out, moves out the way. Oh, oh, it's not good enough again. Still nil-nil. Oh, yeah. Who's that guy? Oh, yeah. So Tucker's done well to get there. He's getting it. Oh, just wide. Great awareness from Jack Tucker. Looks to roll it back on the back of the field. Okay, he's unlucky. Bossing this half as well. How did Jill's not leave? It's brilliant from Danny Lloyd, it's a good save from the keeper, comes back to O'Keefe, blocked, comes back to O'Keefe, blocked again, deals the penalty, but not massively, but Jules are on top, they've got to score though while we're on top. And you'll have seen Ben Reeves and Mustafa Carrillo out warming up, still goal is 58 play. Top is 24, Austin Carrillo in places for Stuart O'Keefe. for one of their centre-arse, but surely it should be a red card. John 
Jonah Kindy challenges him and he's just he's practically caught it. If and Jonah Kindy's for on goal, if not, the referee's now called them over again. The referee's called someone over now. Is he going to change it or he's not going to change it? But the big thing is it's a free kick for Jill's in a really good position. The referee's just sorting the wall out. We've got Danny Lloyd, we've got Mustafa Carrier, we've got Carl Dempsey over this. So Kindy's just trying to block the line of the keeper, isn't he? But he's got to get on side. Carry on! He was saved it! That's been backed out for a corner. Jill's again closer! Still nil nil! Gonna be a corner now. John Akindy's just standing still. John Akindy's running this up today. He's just walking around laughing at people. Peter's not comfortable with him being there, is he? Comes the corner now. Danny Lloyd out, swinger. Here it comes. Oh, that's good defending. Carl Dempsey into the box. That's been hacked up in the air. Everything Akron can do at the moment is very last ditch. Still nil nil. Free kick to Akron to the boss. Game's been really flat, hasn't it? We're, yeah, we're, we're standing up a lot now, aren't we? Yeah, we look like we've blown a gasket, to be fair. I just said to you, because we had an opportunity. We could have ended up with nine points from the last three games. Should have seen that last week. Big opportunity today. I feel we could end up with four if we get beat here because we've got people that are running on empty. And we've got six outs. We've got six old lads seed and Reeds have been out warming up for about ten minutes now. No interest from Rain or Evans at the moment. 81 played, still goals. Come on, Danny Lloyd. Here it comes. Touch up! It's off the floor! It's got to go back to Danny Lloyd. It's been clipped. Danny Lloyd driving into the box. He's got to create an angle. Good ball. He's cleared again by another giant. John McKinley's going to get there. Jill's trying to keep the pressure on. That's what he's got with Dempsey. It's got to be good. It's got to be good. It's got to be good. Oh, he's in the boot. Is it going to be one of them days? And they're going to scramble it clear. Still nil nil. Another chance for Jules to get ball into the box. Danny Lloyd. Max Amar flick. Sort of clear. Carl Dempsey. Where's he going? He hasn't got a wide option. Danny Lloyd. That's poor ball. Took too long. They're going to break. Colby Bishop's one on one with Ryan Jackson. We've got in here. They've played a poor ball. Jackson should be able to go back to Jamie Cumming, which he has done. Still nil nil. 85 play. Come on, Jules. Throwing Robbie McKenzie wide left. Socks has tucking himself to the floor, didn't he? Where's that gone? Oh, been, oh he's all right now, he's just cleared it. Oh, and Jackson halfway long, Reese Bennett. It's too narrow again, it's too narrow. Kicked into the box. Max Amos won it. Can Dempsey get there? It's gonna be another throw in the Jules. We're running out of time now. Come on, Jack on. Here it comes, he's winding it up. Flat one. Dempsey's managed to get it back to him. Oh, yeah. to be another throw in. Come on. Oliver's won it. Oh, is that gone? It's no foul either. Mackenzie's gone all the way back. Jamie coming. 88 play. 